Hello, so in this one, I did 144 level maps. I crafted a bunch of items, I crafted a bunch of good charms, I did some charm upgrade slots, and I did serpents, high level serpents to drop the base. So, yeah, let's get into this one. So, this is basically my first usable craft that I could do. Just some resistances, some HP, dodge, multi armor multiplier, and enhanced duration. Attack, attack skill room levels would be better, but I didn't have a choice in this one. Did some gloves too. I was only looking for as much attack speed as I could. I was thinking about making it double authority, but I didn't want to waste too many mat mats, and it was low level one. There is no way to get a high tier rolls unless you use Vespa, and this item was definitely not worth to use any Vespas on it. I just kept some low T attack speed roll and some attack speed amplification. This is probably the best craft I did. So it was enhanced potion effect T uh, 13 on the suffix. I was thinking about doing double authority, but again, didn't want to spend too much. And I did a craft on it, got another 20%, and 72% for me was enough to finish my rune mastery XP's in like an hour and a half, around two hours on the 144 level maps. At the same time, you can use damage amplification potions, which give you even more damage. So this belt, I would say it's necessary uh, at the beginning of the season. And this is DPS test just to keep the track of how much damage I had. I was around like 250 mil, 220 mil after all those crafts. I would say it's, well, it was okay for me. I could start doing 144 level maps. This one was waste of unique change essences, but I wanted to get plus 15 critical rate and just forget about this one. 15 is the max you can get, and any crit rate is good. I spent quite a bit, but it was worth it, it was worth it. Later I'm gonna do some jewels on this one, but for now, strike damage jump on jewel is enough. For rune mastery points, I basically always do block expertise at the start. You don't need to shield for this to work, and then I go movement speed flat, just to be faster. And after that, I just do some damage jumps, whatever damage jump works for me. In this case, I was just doing some cold damage jump. And again, more crafting. I just got some 144 level bases, and I just kept crafting. Just picked up some movement speed, and I did uh, caster authority on this for attack and hands on the suffix. I didn't want to get a strike on prefix. I, it would have taken too much time and I needed that extra armor because my armor was at this stage it was really low Yeah, attack and hands and then just some defenses I was looking for some chaos res and some cold res Early on shoulders I always do speak authority for some chaos res and only late into the game I craft some totem perfect dodge to get some skill wound effect on, on it Absolutely forgot to punch some uh, Qualities on the equipment, so don't forget that. Quality still gives you a decent amount of defenses depending on what roles you have. Don't forget about that one. Don't be like me. Crafted a charm. It was a boreal one. And on the leggy prefix I got maximization chance. Basically the best I can get this early into the game. Uh, crafted mirror city one. And again, got maximization chance. So basically these charms, I'm not gonna change for the rest of the season was doing some DPS tests again, just wanted to know how much I'm pumping because I was preparing to do a high level Serpent's maps. I didn't want to do high level uh, Chaos Statue, just like for example some T10 maps because it's really easy to die on those just because of the cursed enemies and for example Serpent's map doesn't have too many mechanics, it's really easy to read those mechanics and you have so much time to DPS it down I think doing Serpents or any other great card that you know the mechanics of the boss is probably the best way to get some bases. So I did 150 even though I was doing 144 level maps. I did manage to kill it but I definitely thought I'm gonna kill it much faster than, than it actually took me. I dropped a two-hander blunt but I was debating on the blunt. I didn't know if I want to craft that one because the only thing I got from it is more critical rates. And higher level base, so I thought maybe I can craft like a decent, uh, decent two hand out of it with just a little bit more critical rate, cause I didn't knew that at the time, but I was not running that high crit by the way, and it was a nice upgrade for me. Straight out of the serpents, I started crafting my two-handed blunt. I picked up Mercedes Authority, wanted to get elemental damage jump or 
Cold damage on every hit on the prefix, didn't get any of those, however, I got a really decent suffix. It was kinda lowish Tia affixes. I didn't invest any Vespas too. It was really cheap craft. I thought I'm gonna get this weapon, I'm gonna start blasting immediately like 155 level serpents, and I'm gonna drop just a better one. However, it did not happen. But before I started my DPS test, I also did a craft, I picked up attack damage, I wanted call damage flat but I couldn't roll it and I didn't want to spend too many traces and star memories. After that I went straight into the training arena and started testing my damage and was a little bit devastated. I was thinking I'm gonna do around 1 build damage at the moment but I was only doing like 600 mil. I'm gonna explain more about this bug in uh, my next episode, but at the same time I can tell that I already did this video and it's the same bug that, that happened in season 4 basically. But yeah, this is where my day 3 ended and if you guys want to see more you can find me on Twitch or YouTube. I'm trying to stream every single time I upload a new video. So if you see a new video pop up you can, and you want to catch up with what I'm doing at real time, just join the stream. Yes, yeah, geez, thanks for watching. I hope you're having fun. If you guys want to see something specific, let me know in the YouTube comments. Yes, yeah, geez, have fun. And see you next time.